Catherine Brodsky shares a personal narrative of her encounter with cancel culture, which unfolded about two years ago. She describes how a seemingly innocuous act of posting a job opening at Fox in a women journalist's Facebook group sparked controversy. Her subsequent call for unity and political neutrality within the group was met with severe backlash, including accusations of being a white supremacist and a barrage of vile messages. This incident prompts her to reflect on the psychological toll of online bullying and the stark absence of human connection in digital interactions. Brodsky delves into the societal repercussions of cancel culture, noting the mob mentality and bullying that often accompany it. While she acknowledges the necessity for accountability, she also points out the often disproportionate punishments and the lack of constructive dialogue that characterize cancel culture. She warns of the radicalization that can ensue when individuals are silenced, leading to the erosion of moderate views and the entrenchment of extremism. Brodsky also observes that the suppression of certain discussions can trigger overreactions, further polarizing society. As a journalist, Brodsky is acutely aware of how cancel culture has permeated her field. She witnesses a pivot towards opinion journalism and the emergence of activist journalists, creating tension between traditional and contemporary journalistic values. The pervasive fear of speaking out and the resultant self-censorship are of particular concern to her. She laments the demonization of certain viewpoints and the absence of candid discussions on sensitive topics like immigration. Brodsky stresses the importance of open dialogue and the risks associated with silencing diverse perspectives in journalism. Highlighting the critical need for honest conversations, Brodsky argues for the importance of understanding different perspectives. She distinguishes between political correctness and factual honesty, especially in immigration debates. Brodsky addresses the vilification of certain viewpoints and the constraints on free speech, cautioning against the radicalization that can occur on both ends of the political spectrum. She expresses concern over the media's reflection of these practices and the consequent impact on the integrity of journalism. In a podcast discussion, Brodsky expresses frustration with the media's departure from objective reporting, where opinion pieces are often masqueraded as news. She underscores the significance of resisting the silence that perpetuates cancel culture and encourages individuals to find their voice, particularly in defense of friends or against unfair treatment. The conversation shifts to the loneliness crisis, especially among men, and its ties to the decline of traditional community structures in favor of social media. Brodsky points to the effects of dating apps on social interactions and the challenges of forming real-life connections. The need for authentic human relationships and the negative consequences of social isolation are underscored. Brodsky advocates for the creation of alternative communities that foster open dialogue. She shares her experiences of engaging in face-to-face -face conversations, which have inspired others to do the same. She also suggests supporting those who publicly oppose cancel culture, as this can lead to meaningful change. The impact of AI on our perception of reality is a growing concern for Brodsky. She worries about the proliferation of disinformation and the potential for AI to further blur the lines between truth and falsehood, leading to an increasingly distorted worldview. Sharing a story from her book, Brodsky discusses the case of a man who faced false accusations and the absence of redemption opportunities within cancel culture. She calls for a balance between redressing genuine wrongs and allowing space for individuals to recover from mistakes. The conversation touches on the perils of anonymous accusations and the lack of due process in the court of public opinion. Brodsky concludes by emphasizing the need to concentrate on human behavior rather than becoming entrenched in polarized ideologies. She advocates for assessing ideas based on their effects on individuals and steering clear of divisive tactics in ideological battles. She believes that a focus on behavior and its outcomes can lead to more productive discussions and solutions. In summary, Catherine Brodsky's experience with cancel culture and her insights into its effects on society and journalism underscore the urgency for open and honest conversations. She highlights the dangers of silencing diverse perspectives and the significance of understanding different viewpoints to counteract the polarization 
and radicalization that arise from cancel culture. Her story serves as a reminder of the value of free speech and the necessity for respectful dialogue in tackling complex societal issues.